everyone this is Asmi's art and today we are gonna do a pour on this vase um, which I bought from I think Target and this is like two or three dollars there um, you can use it as it is uh, but I I prefer doing something on the plain market bought things so yeah this is the pot which I got from there and I have few colors uh, this one's a, a dark blue which I just uh, took the artist loft brilliant blue and mix a little bit of black to make it a little darker uh, with my pouring medium which is 50% uh, Floetrol uh, to 50% paint and uh, just 10% of uh, glue any any PVC glue whatever is available what I'm gonna do first of all is take a paper towel uh, and uh, just dip a little bit of this paper towel in the isopropylene alcohol and then what I'm gonna do is just rub the outside of the waist and see that there are no marks no fingerprints because uh, when we rub it with the alcohol what it does it it uh, cleans the surface so that the paint sticks to it easily and the paint would not drip off so there would be no empty space on your ways here so okay uh, it's nice and clean now let us uh, start with our pour I would first of all give it a drip of white uh, just because it becomes easier if uh, any surface has some some kind of uh, liquidity already there so uh, this this white paint would help us to drip the upper layers more easily if you want you can also use black or any other color uh, it's it's on your personal preference I'm doing uh, my colors uh, this way today so yeah I'm using white as the base coat this is the normal uh, acrylic which I use uh, in my canvas as well it's artist loft slow acrylic white so I use 50% paint 50% flow troll and that's it so my white is already there let us see if we can just reuse it by pouring it back into the cup because I don't want a lot of paint to just drip off in the sheet and then we have to throw it away so I'm just reusing the bits which are dripping down okay so once we are done this way uh, what I'm gonna do is now I'm gonna take uh, a used canvas board which I did for my some other artwork so I haven't used it it was just the drips that this one was used for so yes I'm now putting my waist upside down so that uh, the paint drips off this way let's just reuse this bit here We'll just quickly grab a stick and drip off all the paint which is what's there in this plate just to make the movement of the upper layers easier otherwise you can completely ignore this step all right so I would just try to cover these faces which are 
not covered yet. Right. Okay, whatever. Um, sometimes we have to mix our paint beforehand, so that is what I did. So might have some some lumps here and there in the paint so we can remove them very easily while we are doing the dripping of the paint on the pot so as you see it's covering very easily all the sides um, if you want you can just keep pouring I am giving a touch up because I am gonna put another color on the top I did another one few days ago which was a metallic light blue and gold so that is sold off I thought you would be interested so I'm putting this one for the video. Now let us put our silver paint. Uh, the silver is just the craft paint. So I would just do on some places not everywhere because I don't want to cover it too much Okay, so I would just give a little blow from the top so that the paint, whatever is sitting here on the top, comes down. This is giving a totally different dimension to it. Um, see, when we use a metallic paint on anything, it just gives the cells on its own. We don't have to use any dimethicon or silicon in this. So when the white was the, the base coat, uh, being white being the color which again helps in giving uh, some 
cells to any paint uh, so uh, then we had the silver on the top which is a metallic which again has some properties which gives cells to the color it reacts with so we've got some natural cells here on the bottom which is really beautiful once it dries you'll be able to see uh, if you want to uh, support my channel please uh, see there is my link paypal link in the description box please subscribe and like my video so that it gives me the encouragement to uh, put in more videos for you uh, why I do these videos is that uh, many many times people uh, want to do something they don't have the idea or they are afraid they might waste their supplies uh, and not being su successful so why I do this is for you so that it becomes easier for you to experiment uh, you already have the things which go wrong, which go right, so that makes the proce process easier for you. Uh, I think this one's done now. Um, the all, all the sides of this uh, waist is covered and uh, I'll show you once it is dried up in the next part of the video. Uh, please subscribe and like and donate to my channel. Thanks for watching Asmizat. Have a good day.